Today I'm going to be making some coffee on this Ultima Cosa espresso machine that I got from Walmart. And this is some local blend, or local roasted coffee um, from San Antonio, Texas. It's, it's from a place called What's Brewing. And I, I believe this one is like a medium roast, um, but it's pretty good for espresso. Um, so I'm going to be weighing 18 grams of coffee, or close to 18 grams. And I'm going to put it straight into the uh, coffee bean container here. And the reason why I'm doing this, and you could actually fill this whole thing up with beans if you wanted to, and it, and it automatically, if you have one shot or two shot, it kind of guesstimates uh, the, the correct doses you should use um, but the reason why I'm putting and I weighed the beans first is I want to have the exact 18 grams for this shot and um, so another thing I will say is every bean that you get is going to be different you might have to grind it finer you might have to grind it coarser um, you might have to put 17.5 grams, you might have to put 17 grams. Um, it's just kind of like a trial and error. Once you find the bean that you like, you're gonna kind of probably stick to it. And um, so you're just gonna have to, it's like, I guess you're just gonna have to like play with it a little bit. <laughs> um, so right here, what I did was, um, so it, like, like I said, it automatically like, stops at a certain point so the reason why i took it out tapped it a little bit and put it back in there was so all the full 18 grams can come out and right here i'm just kind of um tamping it but it looks like i'm pressing it like super hard but i'm really not so you want to try to make it even um don't press too hard once it you feel like it's not going anymore stop you've gone too far and right here what i'm doing is i'm just kind of like i'm doing two things i'm cleaning some like maybe leftover residue that kind of splattered up there and also i'm kind of heating up the whole entire machine you can also um heat the machine up uh doing the steamer as well so you get like the whole entire machine um hot and ready because you definitely don't want to just go in here and straight get espresso like cold like you know what i'm saying and um, so this is what it looks like. Um, I feel like it's a little too runny, but it, the taste came out really good. Um, the texture was pretty good. You, this is the range you want to be in. You definitely don't want to be in the black or the gray. Um, so this is kind of like the perfect uh, pressure that you want to be on, kind of in the middle-ish. And um, it's got some good layers. It's got some good crema. Um, so when I first started making this video, I was just going to make a double shot for myself. But then my neighbor wanted to come over and have coffee. So now I'm going to be splitting it. But here's what the <clears throat> here's what the pod looks like. It came out like solid. Um, the puck is clean. And right now I'm gonna I'm gonna see how well this uh, I guess it's called a steamer. I'm not sure steamer wand. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm purging it, and what that is is like you just want to get, like I said, like you want to get residue, all nasty old maybe milk that was trapped in there. You just kind of want to blow it out before you stick your jug of milk in there or whatever. So I'm actually using um, oat milk. Um, and after you're done, you want to purge it again just to get all that stuff out. And I'm stirring my espresso, guys. I know y'all are, some of y'all are going to be like, what are you doing? So do that. But it's good to mix everything. Um, I mean, you're going to mix it anyway, so you just kind of want to get it all flowing. And, um, I don't know how to do latte art. Like, I've tried so many times. I don't know if it's oat milk thing, but then I looked up oat milk and people do it so I don't know what I'm doing wrong so I'm not even gonna try to do it <laughs> it just looks thin like 
all around like it's just not thick and and if i use like a like a foamer one or whatever like it just gets too foamy and then it just comes out looking like a cappuccino so um but if you want to know where i got these beans by the way these beans they have they have in-house roasting so like anything you get is going to be less than like four days old so everything that you're going to order is going to be like fresh as you know what so i'll leave a link and um thanks for watching